the most unusual and outlandish motherboards. Part 6. Today, the review includes Feng Shui boards, empty boards with water and copper pipes, and many others. Evga classified SR2 motherboard. There are two LGA1366 connectors on the board. What is unusual about this board is that it is actually a server motherboard, but for computer enthusiasts, it has a wide range of overclocking capabilities. Even now, it is difficult to find two socket motherboards designed for overclocking processors. Evga Z370 Micro Motherboard Board under the socket 1151 V2 What is unusual about it is that it is a Micro 8 board designed for extreme CPU overclocking. To power the board, not only the 24-pin connector, deployed along the board, is used, but also 8-pin, 6-pin and 4-pin. Feng Tech Feng Shui Motherboard Board for the AMD platform. The name Feng Shui is not taken by chance. Components are scattered on the board not as God sent to the soul, but strictly according to Feng Shui. The RAM slots are located under the slope to be in the area of wisdom. This supposedly improves performance. The processor is located in the center, as it will work best there. The KZ11 motherboard. This is a FIFA socket A. The photograph shows that it is unusual. This is an empty textolite at the bottom of the board. There are no tracks and no soldered elements. The secret of this board is simple. The company had the same Matx board. And to make an ATX format board. The engineers simply extended the textolite and only soldered the area under the two PCI slots. Cheap and angry. Foxconn F1 motherboard payment for socket 775. The board is interesting because it has a built-in water cooling system on copper tubes. Foxconn Renaissance X58 Digital Life Motherboard. Payment for socket 1366. When you look at the motherboard, the thought immediately creeps in. Something is wrong here. A speaker is placed right in the middle of the board. But it is not real, fake, completely made of plastic. Installed for beauty. This was the company's understanding of beauty. Gigabyte GA 8 Newtons SLI Royal Motherboard. This is a motherboard on socket 775. And the power system is unusual in it. Look at the photo, at the place where all the usual boards have their power phases soldered. This one has some kind of orange connector. This is the connector for installing the DPS module, in this case, U plus DPS. This module contains additional VRMS, which should, according to the engineer's idea, help with overclocking. But, in fact, the board can work without this fee. Gigabyte Gossi 847N Motherboard, Reverend 1.0 the board is unusual in that it is soldered Intel Celeron 847 processor. And no other processor can be installed. And since the processor is very weak, this solution looks doubtful. Gigabyte GA ep 45 t Extreme Motherboard Payment for Socket 775 The board is noticeably distinguished by the heatsink on the chipset. It is so huge that it takes up the entire first PCIe slot. Gigabyte GA M410N motherboard board for socket 1200 in Minix format. The board has a non-standard layout, its chipset is located above the processor. Gigabyte GA Z7X motherboard. The board for socket A. At first, and at any other glance, this is an ordinary board. But only at the time of release, it was the first and only board with a blue text highlight. All other boards of any manufacturers had so to speak, a natural dirty yellow color of unpainted textolite. Gigabyte MP30AR0 Motherboard Board with a soldered X-Gene processor. This is an 8-core processor based on the ARM architecture. There are also 8 RAM slots on the board. Gigabyte Z68 Gaming Motherboard Payment for Socket 1155 The board is notable only for the shape of the radiator on the chipset. It is designed as a loaded magazine for an automatic rifle. The students should have liked it. That's all for today. Write what other unusual motherboards you know.